Welcome back to Breath of the Wild, everybody. Last time we helped uh, Nadra get the malice off the dragon, Nadra. And uh, I was so, so into that that I decided I was going to go find all the other dragons in my free time. So, and in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to get all three dragons. I am confident we're going to get this one. This is Dinrail we're looking for right now. Uh, so... When Dinrail shows up, I'll be right back. Oh, Jesus. Speaking of which, there, he, there's Dinrail. Alright. I don't even know if I made a cut or not, but... Took like five seconds. So, uh, the statue said that we want... Whoops. We want Dinrail's scale for the spring of power. So we're just gonna shoot it in the body. Because if you shoot it in the claw, you can get, like, claw shards. And I missed. That's a good job on, on my part. Totally blowing it right now. Alright. We did it. Where's that gonna go? Gotta pay attention to where these things fall. We did it, guys! So, I'm just going to show you on the map what I just did. I went from Hebra Tower and just jumped straight off and hung out around these cliffs over here. And uh, Dinrail just comes through here, this valley. It was that easy. So, um, let's go do the next one. And you know what? I'm just going to put a little thing on my map so I remember. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. And then, uh, I guess at the end of this episode, we'll, we'll try and if we have time, we'll drop the scale off in the spring. Um, so the next one we're going to do is, uh, Nadra again. Because Nadra is the one we helped in the last episode, but we never got the scale and you need, it's either like a horn or a scale. I don't know. You need this stuff to upgrade like your champion's tunic and stuff, so I'm just gonna take us to, uh, Mount Laneiru. Laneiru. Alright, so we're at Jitan Sami Shrine. Whatever, however you want to say that. This is, uh, where Nadra was last time, so it's, it's no surprise that, you know, Nadra likes to hang out here. But, uh, we're not exactly... God damn it. We're not gonna like just hang out on top of the mountain because uh, I, I realized that makes Nadra that just kind of cramps Nadra's style and she's like bruh I'm not gonna spawn if you're just gonna hang out like at my spawn point like fuck off dude. I was like all right I get it dog. So uh yeah. By the way if you guys are noticing I have slightly more stamina or if you're noticing that I have one less heart than we did last time. It's because I found this dickhead statue. Hold on, let me figure out where I'm going real quick. Uh, I got it marked. Okay, so for Mount Laneiru, Laney, Laneiru, I put a little mark here. That's where I like to hang out. Uh, I'm kind of going the right way. So there we go. Might take us a minute to fly over here. Uh, so yeah, I was around Hatino Village and I talked to this creepy looking statue and it stole one of my heart containers. And I was like, you asshole. So I talked to it again and it was like, what? What, dude? What are you going to do about it? And apparently this statue swaps out your stamina vessels and heart container vessel things. So like if you regretted upgrading one thing it'll pump that that point into the other, if that makes sense. And since it had already taken it away, and I was like, alright, I have 11 hearts, and I kind of want to just max out my stamina, I just put the 11th heart into that. But, uh, yeah, that's the long explanation for what the hell happened. So, I think... I think this is right. No, kind of off course here. 
Way off course. What the hell is wrong with me? Okay, this is good. Oh my god, I ran out of stamina. I wasn't paying attention. Anyway. Alright, this should do... This should be just fine. Normally I think I'm over there. I think this guy likes to spawn... Kinda early-ish. In the morning. So... Yeah, we'll be right back. I'm gonna just make a fire and we'll wait by the fire. Oh, and if you guys don't know, you just drop some wood and shoot a flame arrow or use a flame sword or you can use flint to start a fire. That's also a thing you could do. Oh, there we go. Boom. Magnificent. Fucking brilliant, mate. Look at him go. Her, him. Dragons don't need to be gendered. What they do need to do is hurry up, because I'm trying to run a show here. Come on. And, uh, like I said before, if you shoot it in that thing on top of its head, that's the horn. You can shoot it in the claw. You can shoot it in the body for scales. Uh, and it, I, you might be able to shoot it in the teeth for fangs, but I've not been able to pull that off yet. I've just seen something required, like, a, a fang to upgrade. This helps if you have Ravali's Gale, but I don't think you need it, because when you get close to the dragon, there starts to be, like, a gust. I might have just fucked up. I should have waited till it got closer. Nope, there goes that gust I was talking about. So, uh... What do we want? We want a horn? Fuck it. We got a horn. You really want to watch where they fly off to. I don't know if I mentioned that. And if you get too close, they shoot little orbs, like fire, ice, and electricity, depending on which one, which dragon. And you don't want to get hit by that. Trust me. Up, oh, see? Great example. Whoa! Don't even know how I just survived that. It also really helps if you have Mipha's Grace, because you can just fall out of the sky to your death, and then... You'll be fine. I didn't really pay very good attention to where that went. There it is. I think I got a piece of the horn. I don't even know what I needed, but, um... I've done this a few times. So... And I know how to do it again, so... Yay, I got the horn. Alright. Finally, we're gonna go do Farosh, which is the easiest dragon. Farosh is uh, somewhere near the beginning of the game. Over in like central Hyrule. Here it is. Alright. So you can just travel to Lake Tower and then uh, you'll end up over here. So let's go there now. Alright guys, we're at Lake Tower. Um, and so you want to be right up there. That's where we want to be. Farosh is gonna just show up in the middle of this lake. I like to wait just right on top of this little tower. This little towel right here. This is the easiest one in my opinion. And uh, like I said guys, make sure you have arrows. I don't think I actually mentioned that. Probably should have said that at the beginning, but... Anyway, make sure you have arrows, make sure you have, um, wood in some way to start a fire, because if you screw this up, you can only get, like, one scale or horn or claw a day from each dragon. You can only get one scale a day, so, like, if you hit the wrong part of the body, like, and you end up with, like, a scale and you wanted a horn piece... It's just too bad. You're just gonna have to go up here and camp out and wait until the next day. It's not too bad though. If it, like, if you have the wood, it doesn't go anywhere as long as you don't like fast travel away from the area or go too far. This game is pretty good about object permanence. Boom. 5 a.m. There they are. Magnificent. 
Oh, no. You're gonna want to be up here. <laughs> Don't screw up like I did. Don't be a freaking total screw up. Don't worry. Just gonna bust a 180 and head our way. Have our, uh, our arrows ready. Come on now. Don't, don't embarrass me in front of the viewers. Mosey on over here, playboy. Playgirl. Play dragon. Here we go. I think you want Shard of Farosh's Horn for the champion tunics, like, first upgrade. I could be wrong about that, um, th and there's no way for me to check right now, so... I don't know. Whatever I hit, I hit. By the way, you don't have to use Revali's Gale. Because this guy creates a gust for you. It's just... it's just more fun that way. Don't electrocute me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright. Alright guys, um... Apparently there's a shrine nearby. I don't know. Obviously I have not found that shrine. And I think we have enough time to go to the Spring of Power and drop one of these scales in. Alright, um, the Spring of Power from... Katosa Ag Shrine, um, near East Akala Stable. Just so you know, like, the ancient tech lab is right here. There's the stable. Here's the Spring of Power. That's where we got the captured memory. That's where we're headed right now. Alright, guys. Here we are. Spring of Power. Um. Dinrail Scale. Red Spirit. Alright, let's see. Where the hell is it? Here it is. Alright, so you just hold the scale like we did at the other spring. Drop it on in. It's a lot of work for a shrine, but... Your path has shown itself, now go forth. I guess we'll do that really quick. Tutsuwa Nima. At least we can fast travel here now. Oh. I thought they were just gonna give it to me. A major test of strength, apparently. Okay. We'll bring it on then. Wow, what a surprise. What a curveball they've thrown at us. Well, here we go. Ah, oh, jeez. This guy doesn't look- Oh, dude, way to start things off. Oh good, my claymore is damaged. I love it. Uh... That was like my best spinny weapon. Come on, dick. No. He's doing some crazy shit. What's your deal? What's your deal? Damn it. Thought I could lead that shot. Apparently not. Dude, I'm rich. I will just shoot you with all the arrows. Don't even think I won't. Ow. This is my patented technique. Hopefully he doesn't run away before I can do the ultimate blau move. Ultimate blau move is also patented. Ow. Why are you being like this? I was just trying to do a simple video to help people out. Come here. Damn it. 
It's so funny that, like, I did a minor test of strength and had the worst time with it. But this isn't so bad. Damn it. Don't, don't use your shield. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, what's he doing? Ow. Ow. I didn't like that. And I'm out of arrows. There we go. Um. Oh, dude, he's gonna hate the Guardian Sword. What a fool I've been for not using this. Don't even do that, dude. I should run. Ah. Sucks to be a dingus. Sucks to be you, bro. Oh, shit. How about that? How about that? How, how about that? Come on, dude. This is eating up a lot of time. Die. Just, just die, dude. Oh, he didn't freeze. Alright, we did it, everybody. We did it. Put my cool guy clothes back on. Cool. Flame spear. I like it. So everybody, this has been uh, How to Tame Your Dragon. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys out. Um, please like this video if it did. Even with... Gale is now ready. Yeah, I'm trying to do an outro, dude. So anyway, um, with all the pre-planning, this took me like an hour to record, so... And I'm sure there's like way better tutorial videos out by the time this video comes out. But, you know... I was going to do this anyway, I figured I'd go into a little more detail, show you guys how it's done. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and again, please like this video if it helped. Leave a comment if you have better strategies, um, or let me know how it helped you. I'd be happy to know if it did. Anyway guys, um, yeah, in the next episode, I, I don't even know. I don't even know what we're going to do. It's going to be sick though. So, thank you guys. Did I thank you guys yet? Thank you. And thank you. Alright everybody. This has been Adam Duh. Uh, tomorrow, who knows who I'll be. Just kidding. I'll see you guys later.